Good morning guys, it's about 10 a.m. on Monday morning and Ali and I have just finished packing because we're heading to Sweden today. We are gonna be taking part in the Sunset Relay, which is in Lapland, and um, it's organized by Garnier and the European Cancer League. And it's basically just to raise awareness um, about the damage sun can do to your skin and protecting yourself accordingly. So we are heading out there first. We've got two flights to get and you guys are gonna come along with us. Well, this is definitely a different look for me. There's no Gucci bags or Balenciaga bags and certainly no makeup. I am carrying this massive thing on my back and I think it weighs more than me. Um, I'm also wearing my t-shirt that was given to me by a lovely group of guys when I was at Body Power. And it says, love sport beat racism. And I just think it is a great cause and it's really comfortable too. <laughs> um, I'm also wearing my new Adidas trainers, which I'm going to be running in during the race. Um, but they're super comfortable, so it seems silly not to travel in them. So we've arrived at Heathrow. I think we're running a little bit late, so we're gonna go and check in and then hopefully spend some money in duty free. Yay! <laughs> so we just had the most stressful check-in ever. Uh, Ali's passport expires next month and they nearly didn't let us travel. They said that we needed three months. Um, we did double check and um, luckily they've let us fly but we only had like minutes to spare so we're gonna head to our flight now. in Stockholm and we are trying to find our next flight to Karuna and we have no idea where we are so we're just going to walk around until we find it. <laughs> landed in Karuna. It's 11 o'clock at night and it's still broad daylight. It's very green and um, I thought it was going to be like England but this is nothing like England. It's 1am in the morning and it's still light outside. We've just reached our hotel and had a sandwich and now we're gonna try and get some sleep because we've got to be up about 5, 5.30 to leave. Such a beautiful place, but I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's about 5.30 in the morning, it's still light outside and we're about to go downstairs because I think that the bus is about to leave and we're going to head up to where the race is going on and show you all of the action and then I think tomorrow is when I'll be running my leg and tomorrow morning is when Ali will be doing his too so stay tuned. tonight. Um, this is the bus that most people are sleeping on um, but I think tonight I'll be going back to um, 
be going back to a hotel to stay in. <laughs> Lucky me, because I'm not racing until five tomorrow. But yeah. So it's been a bit of a tiring day. I'm still tired. I still haven't got enough sleep. Um, it's been quite an experience so far. We've um, been on a bus, everyone's sleeping or rushing around. I've come to a really nice hotel uh, to get some sleep before I race tomorrow at 5 p.m. and I will see you in the morning. Ali's about to do his second second part of the um, relay, but we're gonna go get some food. So I am waiting to go and run my leg of the race. I've got about 45 minutes left, so I'm gonna have a coffee uh, for my pre-workout, as I would normally have. And then I'm running with two other girls. So Ali's gonna take over the camera from now and hope hopefully he will get some good footage. If not, I'll kick him. Sorry for them, they went so slowly for me. Did they? Yeah. Did you feel like you had a good run? Um, I, the fact that I finished because I was fighting a stitch from like the third, the third kilometer, and like I thought, oh my god, because usually I just stop if I get a stitch, but I did that thing that you told me to do. Yeah. Um, and I lifted my arm up and um, stamped my foot, and it did. It got, it got rid of it, but I can still feel it. But. I made it six miles. That's the most I've ever, six kilometers. That's the most I've ever run. Ah, oh, good, <laughs> excellent. Let's get some drink. Yeah, I need some water. They even asked someone when we were running, like, "Want water?" <laughs> It was really nice and I had a shower and then we all ran the last little bit of the relay together and now they're having a bit of a party in the middle of the street which is pretty amazing and that's what you can hear so I'm going to show you that now. Finally, we are at the last hotel that we will stay in tonight. It's really, really nice. It's a bit dark because we can't work out how to turn on the lights. But we've got bathrobes, which seeing as we feel so disgusting, I cannot wait to snuggle in.
Morning everyone. So me and Ali got back late last night and this morning we've unpacked and had a shower, had a bit of a refresh, but wow, what a journey we have had in Sweden. It was amazing. Um, spending four whole days in daylight was the most surreal experience. Um, taking part in such an amazing race um, over 1,300 kilometers. I can't, I just can't believe that we had that opportunity. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like it happened to us. Um, we're both just so amazed that we got to take part. And we're so inspired as well. I really want to, to work more on getting better at running and um, doing it a lot more because I was surrounded by athletes that like run 70k in their spare time <laughs> and that's amazing the endurance that their bodies can can withstand and their constant motivation they're just ready to go all the time if someone was was injured they were happy to, to, to take over and just do their leg without even thinking about it and that was just so inspirational especially for someone like me because I was totally out of my comfort zone and yeah, it was, it, it's just, I feel totally inspired and so motivated. Um, and to have done it for such a good cause as well. I'm a big Factor 50 wearer. Um, so spreading awareness about sun damage is really, really important. And especially at this time of year, it's boiling in England. So yeah, it's, it, it's just been such a surreal experience. And we're both just so thankful to, have taken part and I really really hope that you've enjoyed watching my first vlog and um, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to Sweden and I'm just excited to show you more so stay tuned for the other blog posts as well.